Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AC Consulting. There is an update that came out yesterday for TD Snap, both TD Snap AC Legacy, which is the full paid version, and TD Snap AC, that's the subscription based version. You're looking for updating to version 1.38. And there are several things that are added here. In particular, what I'm going to demo today is how to find and add the new pre-made official core first high contrast page set available in USA English. Because um, I've gotten a couple messages and a couple folks commenting online asking how you do this. So your first step is to make sure that you're on version 1.38. Okay. All right, so now that you've updated to the current version of TD Snap, you're going to go over to edit mode, go to the user tab, tap, if you already have a user, tap to the on the user, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and set up new user. Get started. I'm going to name it. Hi, contrast. Or first, I always like to date them so I remember when I added something. Okay, and the key here, very important key here, um, is the language. Specifically, remember over in the app update, it said United States English. So if you select anything else on here, you're not going to see that option probably. So you need to have English United, Sa United States selected. Needs text with symbol supports. Pick your access method. Pick core first. Pick high contrast United States gives you a description of what that is. Pick your voice. And as far as grid size, if you're the AAC user, then pick what works for you. If you're picking this for someone, you need to involve that user and involve um, whoever's helping you understand what access needs they have for vision. So if they have CVI, you would need to have um, the specialist involved regarding that. If there are fine motor issues, you would need to consider consulting with the OT on that team. So make a mindful choice here. Just because it defaults to 7x7 seven seven doesn't mean that everyone is going to use that same grid size. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select maybe that, that, so you can see the options they've given here. Um, I'll leave it on 7x7 seven seven for now and we'll see what that looks like. So creating new, your new user. So this is what it looks like out of the box. And now I'll go over and show you how to add it to an existing user. All right, so here's how to add it to an existing user. Pick whatever user you're using or that that individual is using. I'm going to show you how I might link this to Motor Plan 30 high contrast that I found out on Page Set Central. This won't show up in the onboarding process or the official process. You have to grab this from Page Set Central and install this. Um, and you could do this with any existing user. So this is just happens to be the one that I chose. I'm going to go over to the dashboard and pick where I'm gonna add a button to toggle. And we're gonna say that this is high contrast core first all right delete that speak we don't need for this to speak your button action is going to be switch page set create 
page set. Core first high contrast. Next, create. Done. All right, so now in that dashboard, we're going to go back to motor plan 30 high contrast. Delete that one. My action is going to be switch page set, motor plan 30, done. And so now I have a way to go back and forth between those options. So you have two ways to add this. You can either add a whole new user or you can add it to an existing user. Hope this helps.